I'm chilling here in Las Vegas, my hometown. A few shows ago, I went on the news today, guys. I was on the news in my hometown. I'm gonna show you that clip right here. Before I do, be sure to check out the tour dates. We just added Philadelphia, we got Seattle, we got Scottsdale, we got Glendale, Arizona, and of course, those other tour dates. You Dad, I'm filming right now, and now you're in the back eating. Never mind, just watch the clip. Commentary from our guest here, author and comedian Kayvon Moesi. That's right. In that, the building. That author thing is brand new. I just wrote a Ooh. book, Once You Go Persian. <laughs> I love I'm, it. You okay. get a free copy because, oh, yes, really? because uh, first of all, this is very expensive, so we need to promote it. You let me on here. And I couldn't even <laughs> afford it. the suit, um, so oh, I had to dang. return it after oh, the photo shoot. And he so. kept the tags. Okay, mm -hmm. now don't hate some of y'all. They probably can relate. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Kayvon, thank you. First yes, of all, thank you of for course. this. And another reason why we are proud to have Kayvon in studio is because he's one of our own. He's Nevada, born and bred. So we're presenting, right. right? I was born in Reno, and then I moved to Las Vegas, and then yeah. I went back to Reno for college. So okay, it's very good. Just boom, boom, boom. But we forgive you for going up to UNR. It's yeah, okay. I've already got, I, people have already <laughs> given me a hard time about that. But. Yeah, they have the UNLV <laughs> sweatshirts on, so that's okay. We'll still let you in the door. So, you know, you've really, um, you've gone over to L.A., I moved to LA right. and started doing comedy. And yeah. you said my name right because it's it's Kayvon. Kayvon. When I go yeah. to the airport, I usually go by Kevin Mosey. Oh. Just so just so I get on the plane nice and easy. Oh no. Okay. But you had a little extra you like Kayvon. Kayvon. Yeah, yes. I like that. I'm you gonna, like that? I'm gonna go with that. Kayvon. I'll put on it. Yeah, yeah. So you know when you when you got when you have a special name, you gotta say it right. That's you right. know, put a little twist on I it. I like that. You know, I love it because you talk about you know, being half Persian and just the personal growth mm. that you've gone on, you know, in terms of reconnecting with your culture. And yes. then you kind of put a humorous spin on it. Yes, because growing up in the 80s and 90s, there was not a lot of Iranians or Persians no. around. So I was just regular American. Yeah. At the age of 25, I go to California and they're like, no, you're one of us. Learn how we do it. <laughs> yes. Make your shirt more V-neck, you know, let's <laughs> bring your chest hair out. Be proud of who you That's are. Right. There so, were no shots of sunset, huh? There was not. So now I have pickup lines. Once you go Persian, there's no other version. <laughs> I, I love I'm, it. I'm yes. knee deep in the culture now, yes. so I just wrote a book about it. And uh, I love it. And there's things that the Persians do that a lot of other cultures have. They told me that they do. Like okay, when, like what? Like when you um, say goodbye at a Persian party, you don't just wave and peace out. You have to kiss everyone. Oh and Good yes. to see you and your wife kiss and your and daughter and your dog and the little mouse. Now what about timeliness? Are y'all on time or y'all oh, late? Oh, we're late. We're late. <laughs> it's okay, Persian then I can time. <laughs> Persian time, Persian the, time. The Filipino time, oh, black yeah. time. Oh, well, absolutely. I want yes. everyone to come to my comedy show at the Trop because I, we realize we're all the same. <laughs> Whatever I say Persian, you could just add black, Mexican. <laughs> just everybody all in there, right? That's, just the rainbow of colors. That's I, it. I, I so. love that. And, you know, people can connect to that and relate with that because they're like, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, they do that? Okay, yeah, we do that too. Yeah, absolutely. You know? absolutely. And you, what you say is uh, you just want people to come together. And yes. A lot of people, we are so sick right now of the political correctness mm. and people getting offended. I don't think people are really offended. They just want to seem like I'm a good person. I was offended first. Oh, I see. So what, what I do in my show is I just make fun of everybody equally. <laughs> and then that's just, that's all you need. Just an equal opportunity, make fun of yeah. person, well, and, and, individual. And if you make a black woman laugh in a comedy club, they let you know. <laughs> they, they make a scary noise to tell you to stop. The same noise from the movie Jaws. They'd be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's when you just stop that joke. And you, <laughs> You're like, mm -mm. that's it. That's, that's a wrap, <laughs> yeah. right? You already know. If you, if you know. hear that, stop it's the joke. It's a wrap. <laughs> I love it. Kayvon, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you and being here. You know, because you had me on, I'm going to give 10 lucky viewers a free oh. ticket to the show. They're 40 bucks each. That's wow. $400 for Christmas giveaways. If you're strapped for cash. Do they need to hit you up on Instagram? Yeah, or? you got to find me. I'm on Craigslist, Instagram, Black Planet. I'm on everything. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not Kayvon Black Planet. Mawizi, okay? not, not Black Planet. I'm done with you. <laughs> Thank you, Kayvon. Thank Good you. to have you. All Best right. of luck, too. Michelle, let's send it over to you. What do you think I'm doing over here? Practicing. I'm not practicing. This is going live. <laughs>